Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to The Real Legend of Gaming. We are here with Arena Valor, and this is Everything AOV Episode 5, folks. And I got some exciting news. Just found out we're getting two brand new heroes in the North American server for the month of February. And they're pretty good. One is a mage called Tulin, and the other hero is called Kilgroff. So we're going to discuss their abilities in this video, and at the end, I'll leave you with some gameplay and some actual footage from Arena of Valor themselves. Alright, so let's check it out. Alright folks, so let's check out our first new hero that will be coming out in February. It is a mage, and his name is Tulin. So... This is a guess, it's not a definite, but Tulin should be about 18,888 coins, and it will cost you 1,199 vouchers. Now let's get into the abilities. So Tulin's abilities is Thunderclap, Iron Blast, Lightning Strike, and Thunderbird. And folks, believe me, we're going to explain all this with actual gameplay towards the second part of the video, alright? So let's go now into Kilgroff. Now Kilgroff is a warrior known for his mobility his four abilities is going to be fanatic sea spear and rage spear and gore lord so that sounds pretty intense as far as how much he's going to cost it'll be 18,868 coins my apologies actually 88 and then 1199 vouchers so the same price as tulin and these two heroes will be released this month Available in Arena of Valor and most certainly on the North American server. So now let's go into some gameplay for Tulin, followed up with some gameplay for Kilgroff. And in those gameplay videos, you'll get an explanation of exactly what the abilities do, along with you know some gameplay of how the characters function inside the actual matches. Alright, so folks, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions or any comments about these characters, feel free to drop the comments down below. Alright, peace out. Welcome to the Hero Spotlight for Tulen, the Pure. As a mage that deals high damage up close, Tulen gets into the middle of the fray, using Lightning Strike to unleash havoc on his enemies. Always stay away from Tulen if you are running low on health, otherwise you will soon fall prey to his ultimate Thunderbird, allowing him to refresh all of his abilities for another deadly round of attacks. Thunderclap Whenever Tulen hits an enemy with an ability, he gains one charge of Thunderclap. After reaching five charges, he summons five lightning bolts that shoot out in sequence towards nearby enemies, prioritizing heroes. Each lightning bolt deals magic damage. If more than one lightning bolt hits the same target within one second, the damage dealt by the subsequent bolts will be reduced by 20%. The lightning bolts will only attack monsters if they're in aggression mode. Used as a strong harass tool for laning, Tulin's passive can also be used to clear up minion waves. Since damage dealt by consecutive hits on the same target is reduced, make sure you keep a distance with the enemy target while your passive is active, so you won't use all five charges at once. First ability, Ion Blasts. Tulin shoots three Ion Blasts, each dealing magic damage to enemies along its path. When enemies are hit by more than one blast, each additional hit will deal 30% damage. Each prism that hits an enemy will add one thunderclap charge, one charge per blast. For maximum damage, use ion blasts as close to the enemy as possible to ensure that all three blasts hit, thus giving Tulin three stacks of thunderclap to get him closer to activating his passive for even more damage. Second ability, Lightning Strike. Tulin uses his lightning powers to zap a short distance, damaging enemies at the origin and destination. Enemies in the origin and destination areas will suffer magic damage. Enemies damaged by both the origin and the destination areas will receive 50% damage for the second hit. Enemies damaged by lightning strike twice within 5 seconds will have their movement speed reduced by 2%, gradually decreasing over the following 3 seconds. Each time Tulin teleports and hits an enemy, he will receive one charge of thunderclap. Tulin can store this ability up to three times. Cooldown between stored uses can be affected by items and arcana. Though Lightning Strike has a short distance, it is an effective tool that can both damage and help Tulin pass through walls. 
To effectively zap, use lightning strike next to the enemy to have the start and end point both hit the same target. Attention to maintain a suitable distance between enemy. Keep enemy in the center can double the damage. Ultimate Thunderbird Tulin charges up and launches a Thunderbird at an enemy, dealing magic damage and giving Tulin one charge of Thunderclap. The Thunderbird can be blocked by another enemy hero getting in the way. If the Thunderbird kills an enemy hero, Tulin's passive will be activated immediately and Thunderbird's cooldown will be reduced by 3%. If the Thunderbird hits an enemy minion on the way to its final target, they will suffer magic damage and be knocked into the air. Tulin can also use Lightning Strike while charging Thunderbird. Tulin's passive is usually used to finish off low health targets. However, if it gets blocked by the enemy hero before reaching the target, it's basically left useless. To avoid this, first use Lightning Strike to help reposition Tulin to get around the enemy and complete the kill. Hi everyone, the hero we are introducing today is Kilgroth. Kilgroth is a strong warrior from the ocean. Every normal attack will increase his attack speed, makes his attacks as ferocious as the waves. Passive, the fanatic. Attack speed increased for each normal attack can add up for 8 stacks. The third normal attack will have a larger attack range. The fanatic can only be triggered when a target is hit and will last for 3 seconds in absence of normal attack. First ability, Sea Spear. Kilgroth charges forward, dealing physical damage to enemies along the path and slowing their movement speed. The cooldown will be reduced when it hits enemy heroes. Sea Spear have a pretty long cooldown, so it's better to keep Sea Spear to the end of the fight to chase down the enemy. Second ability, Enraged Spear. After learning this ability, Kilgroth's third normal attack will deal an additional magic damage. When the ability is activated, every normal attack in the next two seconds deals additional magic damage. For each target Kilgroth hits, will restore his HP. Kilgroth can hit more than three enemies, but will only restore HP up to three times per attack. HP also restores by 150% when Kilgroth's HP is less than 50%. Note, when Enraged Spear is applied, attack range will get increased equivalent to the third normal attack range increased by the passive. Enraged Spear enhances Kilgroth's endurance. When Kilgroth is running low, he can use Enraged Spear to kill neutral creeps to recover and get back to battles. Ultimate Gorelord Gorelord immediately provides Kilgroth with four stacks of Sea Spear, removes control effects, and makes Kilgroth temporarily immune to them in six seconds. Gorelord also increases Kilgroth's moving speed, but will reduce progressively afterwards. You can activate this ability when an enemy is trying to control you, or activate it before entering a battle to ensure stable damage. As a warrior, Kilgroth has limited attack range and is not suitable for clearing waves. He can be easily suppressed in battle lanes. Therefore, jungling will be a good choice for Kilgroth. Since Sea Spear has a very long cooldown, Kilgroth should level Enraged Spear first to speed up farming and recover himself whenever needed. Kilgroth is great for melee, but should be careful to not get kilted by his foes. Using Sea Spear to slow enemies down can create a favorable battleground. In the mid and late game, it is key to use Gorlord's anti-control effect to trick enemies' control abilities. Kilgroth can use Sea Spear to initiate the attack, then trade Gorlord with enemies' control abilities to ensure teammates' damage. Lock up the win. Thanks for watching today's episode. See you again next time. Tulin, here are some things to remember. One. Tulin has many ways to combo skills together to be super effective. Try this one. Use the second ability, Lightning Strike, to get face-to-face -face with the enemy. Follow it up with the first ability, Ion Blasts. Then use the second ability to slow the enemy. Trigger the passive and use normal attacks to weaken the enemy. At the end of the combo, use your ultimate, Thunderbird, to finish off the enemy. Combo sequence is 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus ultimate. 2. Although Ion Blasts is great for poking, leveling Lightning Strike can provide more damage and mobility. 3. Although Lightning Strike allows Tulin to dash forward multiple times, the short distance makes it difficult for Tulin to chase down enemy or escape from a bad situation. Because of this, Flicker is still a good idea to take as a talent to further supplement his mobility. 4. 
Both Ion Blasts and Lightning Strike are great tools for clearing minion waves, as they can get you stacks of Thunderclap quickly, thus increasing damage output. Thanks for watching today's Hero Spotlight on Tulin. See you on the battlefield.